Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We say a wonderful Tuesday evening to one and all. Greetings in the powerful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are thankful to Almighty God that we can be here this evening to lift, to magnify, and to glorify the name of Almighty God, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. In this time and in this season, it is the last day of September 2021, and we thank God for opportunities whereby we could have fast on this last day of September congregational fast. I trust the Lord that you were able to keep the fast and connect with Almighty God, that it shall be well, that whatever you are praying about, whatever you are connecting, you know, with God for this time and this season tonight, we're going to have that prayer of agreement so that even as we go forward, the name of the Most High God will be glorified with testimonies. So this evening, we just want to shoot a praise in the atmosphere, thanking God because of who you are, because of who he is, we give him glory. Because of who he is, we give him praise. Hallelujah. He is mighty. He's wonderful. He's amazing. He's powerful. He's great and highly exalted. And this evening we say thank you, Abba Father, for all you have done and what you are doing. Mighty God, we just bless you. We say thank you, Lord. We bless your name. Father, we give you the glory that is due unto you, saying, Thank you, Lord, from the rising of the sun until the going down of the same. Your name is to be praised. Your name is to be exalted. Father, we just worship and we adore. We bow before you, Lord. We just say thank you, Lord. We say thank you, Lord. Oh, mighty God, we give you the honor. We give you the glory. We say thank you, Abba Father, for great are you, Lord. We worship and adore your matchless name. Father, we just hallow thy name. And we say thank you, O Father. We say thank you, Lord, for you are great and you are awesome. We bless your mighty name. Father, take all honor, all glory, and all praise. Even as this evening, Father, we look to you. We look unto you, the author, the finisher of our faith, the lifter of our head, the keeper of our very soul. We say thank you, Lord, and even as the service will progress, we are declaring your blessing. We are declaring your manifested presence on this live platform this evening, saying, Lord, on Facebook live stream this evening, have for thy way, that your will be done, your name be exalted with every song that will be sung. Father, with the word that will go forth and the prayer that will usher up to the heavens, we are declaring, mighty God, that you will be glorified and your hand will be in the midst of your people. We say thank you, Lord, and we bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. We give God the honor, the glory, and the praise as we take you into a little time of worship to bless Jehovah God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. He's worthy. We bless him.
going through. Know that God is able and he can do what no other God can. And you know, this evening I want to talk to your hearts a little bit uh, on God's word is sure. Whatever God says, he will do. God honor his word. And Bible tells us that God cannot lie. What have shaken your foundation of truth? in Jesus Christ in this time that we are living in or who have penetrated your Christian walk or your heart not to serve in the manner you should and not to honor in the way that we are commanded to in this kingdom in the kingdom of God the kingdom of righteousness we are commanded when we take his name we must shine with his glory the name of Jesus above all other names the name of Jesus, power. The name of Jesus releases the anointing. The Bible tells us that God has given him a name that is above every other name. And that at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess that he is God. Amen. So this evening, 
whoever or whatever have shaken your foundation in Christ, I, I am here to let you know that God is true to his word. He keeps all of his promises, uh, even uh, as we keep uh, the principles uh, that is based on this word. Bible tells us, as you know, saints, uh, the word of God is alive and full of power. And that power comes uh, so that the believer can be fully functional on the earth uh, from a supernatural perspective, uh, where the order of the day is suspended uh, so that those that call him by his name and live according to his plan and purpose uh, will receive a supernatural endowment. That power is not for the carnal man. That power is not for the person who will not believe or accept him as truth. That power is for the believer and the one that will run with the word. Are you running with the word of God today? Or are you running bow down with what people have said and you're in a state of confusion? I am here to let you know that God, God the Father, he is true in everything that he says or do. He is a love uh, and he is capable of keeping all of his promises. Uh, as I said to you, God cannot lie. Uh, and even as uh, so many in the Bible that uh, God visited, uh, they had experience with God himself uh, and even through angels. Uh, Moses had experience with God. Uh, Elijah had experience with God. Uh, Elisha had experience with God. Uh, and many others, John on the island of Patmos, he had experience with Father God. He saw even the Lord Jesus Christ telling him to write. We today have experiences with God and we will continue to as we open up our vessel. Uh, your vessel today, is it open for God to use? This body is a temple of the Holy Ghost, but it's a vessel that is ordained for Almighty God. And uh, when we shift from the principles and we listen uh, to conversation that is not seasoned with salt or conversation that is not aright, as Bible say, we fall uh, into place uh, where we question uh, if uh, the working of miracles is true, if God will come true for me, if God has done it for me in time past, will he ever do it again? Uh, and so many questions come up because the wrong voices spoke into your ear. Today, I encourage you as a child of God, listen to the right voices. Listen to the voice of the true and living God. Listen to God, those that God will put in your space so that you will be enabled rather than stay disabled. If you are not enabled to do it according to God's will, then you are disabled. Only so far you can get. When a person, you look at a person that have had a disability or have a disability, they will depend upon another to help them to move around sometime if they have a leg injury or something or they had surgery even though the feet may be walking and can move but because of the impairment with the surgery let's say it's heart surgery they will still need some assistance to some extent child of god when we were disabled because of satan and sin god gave jesus to enable us we are enabled through the blood and the name of jesus christ the finished work on the cross of Calvary. Rejoice, for your God has given you the victory. My God has given me the victory. Over 2,000 years ago, when he went to that cross of Calvary, he said, it is finished. Man redemption is paid. Hallelujah. So therefore, you have nothing to worry about. You live your life completely by faith and not by sight. We need our eyes to move around and to do certain things. But when it comes to honoring God, we need faith. Amen. The Bible says without faith, it is impossible to please God. So we need to walk by faith. Not sometimes, but every day of our life. Faith is what God is looking for. When God looked down on the earth, is he seeing faith in your life? Is he seeing faith coming out of your family? Is he seeing faith anywhere around you? If he's not seeing faith, then he's seeing fear or he's seeing uh, doubt. If God is seeing doubt, he cannot work effectively. So therefore, I am here to remind you that God is true to his word. I am here to remind you that God will honor his word. No matter what is happening, he is honoring his word because his principles are already set. Whatever is established in this word is already set. And when we go into the book of Genesis, the beginning, the first book, we see in, when you look through the Bible, there are many answered prayer. And you on the live stream will know how many prayer 
that you have received answered. Amen. Many a prayer that God have answered for you. Have you been a grateful soldier in the army of God? You know, sometimes we want people to show us gratitude, but are we showing gratitude to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords? It's important. And the Bible says here in Genesis chapter 21, all found? Genesis chapter 21, verses 1, 2, and 3. And it's familiar scripture again, but I'm going how God will have us to go because uh, many a time with the familiar scriptures, those that we quote on a regular basis, uh, we seem to miss the meat of the word. Uh, so we literally want to have the meat of the word. Amen. Uh, in the time of prayer and fasting, uh, I don't know about you, but I try to get as much as I can from the word uh, and from the spirit of the living God. Uh, because if you are fasting, uh, and you're not getting an opportunity to pray or to read the word or to spend a little time whether it's before you go to work or during the course of the day or even during the course of the night what you are doing is basically you are in a uh, you're just in a, in a in a hunger in a place of hunger because you are not really fasting to honor god you're in a place of starvation where you are missing meals because there is no connection from heaven to earth and earth to heaven god wants us to have relationship with him if you are so busy um, on the earth right now because you have to make, uh, you know, your ends meet, as some people say, or pay all of your bill and you have no time for God, uh, on that day, when your name is called, uh, how could God have time when he gave you time and you had none for him? Uh, time and seasons are for humanity. And we that are on the earth, God have placed us within times and seasons. Uh, and if the time given to you, you have excluded the Savior in that you have to cook, you have to wash, you have to go to work, you have to prepare for the kids, you have bills to pay, you have things to do, but you forget God in all of that. Child of God, there will be consequences for forgetting or leaving the Savior out. Amen. So we as believers, if we have done that in time past, mercy is still available, but don't go back there. Look at what the word of God says. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. God speaks. Amen. God speaks. And he honors his word. And I believe it is in uh, Genesis 17 where he would have said that he would visit her. And uh, child of God, the visit came. And the Lord visited Sarah as he had said. And the Lord did unto Sarah as he had spoken. What has God spoken over your life? What has God said about you? This evening, I want you to know if God has spoken it, if God has said it, God will do it as you honor him. The principle of God's word, he cannot work outside of his word because God is bound by his word. His word that he has given us, this B-I-B-L-E is his word. His son is the word, J-E-S-U-S. -E and he will not go outside of his word to make us comfortable. Whatever he is doing, it is established within the word. So therefore, you have to come into that place where you are walking according to the word. And the word, as I said to you, is alive and full of power. God has given us this word and he has given us a holy unction from above. Just as he visited Sarah, God is ready to visit uh, mankind on the earth today. Uh, and some are prepared, but some are not. Uh, are you in a place where if God wants to visit, uh, which he's waiting to, are you ready to receive from God? Uh, are you ready to hear what God is saying? Uh, or you're only ready for the blessings? Uh, how many of you with, with possessions and uh, finances and whatever? Or are you ready for that communication where God will download prophetic downloads into your very spirit? Uh, or cause you to go into trance and into vision. Are you ready for that type of meeting? Most time when a word come, people want to hear you will get a this or you will get a that. God want to get sons and daughters that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Sons and daughters that will carry his Shekinah glory. Sons and daughters that will love him in the midst of a pandemic. Sons and daughters that is not afraid to still serve him in the midst of the Corona COVID-19. Sons and daughters that will say, Yea, do I walk through the valley of the shadow of death? 
I will fear no evil, for my God is with me. God is looking for sons and daughters that will carry the gospel, that will continue to say, Lord, here am I, send me. Can God use you? Do you believe and do you trust God at that high dimension? His word is sure. If he said it, that settles it. He will perform it. He will do it. The men and women of old, they had such a beautiful relationship with God, many of them. Yet still, they had to go through the priest. But they had, you know, that honor for God and that love for God. Do you have that love for God today? Today was your day of fasting. Ask yourself, did I keep the fast? Did I keep the fast properly? Did I honor God? You see, we do not want to do things as a church family, basically as just mere ritual that have no power. When we fast, we know the power of fasting. That is why we fast. We fast so that we can store up treasures in heaven. We fast so that we can have in the day of trouble, it can come back to us that, you know what, we sacrifice and we give God something. We fast so that we can break the bands of wickedness that is currently moving around our life, or our spaces, our family, or whatever it is, our finances, our job. We fast uh, so that we are empowered to serve God uh, and the flesh uh, will come to a quietness uh, whereas the spirit will rise above the flesh. Uh, many people say that, you know, the spirit is willing but my flesh is weak. Uh, well, then feed your spirit man. Uh, so many times I've heard people say, you know, quote that scripture, but child of God, God allow that scripture to be in the word for purpose uh, but you use it out of context as an excuse continuously one day there will be no excuse because god know what is in his word it is his word uh, and therefore whatever is in this word god is fully aware of his word uh, he is fully in tune with his word amen uh, so you cannot quote a scripture out of context and think God will understand. You have to be able to work with the instructions that was given. So even as God said to her, he visited her, Sarah, and as he had spoken. So God is faithful. God is faithful. We see in the world today that when you have unfaithfulness in a marriage, it causes war. The relationship that Abba Father, Almighty God, have with us is a love relationship. And with God, there is no unfaithfulness. He is true to his church. He is true and faithful to his body. Have you been a faithful individual in this relationship with God? He is married, even Bible says, to the backslider. That's the kind of love that God has. That he's married to the backslider. God wants us to be able to trust his word. God wants us to have our personal relationship with him. Sometimes the need will come where you would need to pray or just do worship to birth for. You know, sometimes when you look at your life, you say, what have I accomplished? Only you and those around you will know what you have accomplished. God knows what you have accomplished. But have you paused to look at your life and see, have I honored God for the years that he has given to me? Where am I going with the years that I would have remaining on the earth should Christ tarry? Am I positioned that I will serve God in spirit and in truth? If you are not positioned, you will miss, as the wise man Solomon said. Bible said, for Sarah conceived and bare Abraham a son in his old age at the set time of which God had spoken to him. And Abraham called the name of his son that was born unto him, whom Sarah bare to him, Isaac. Now, if God have said it, that settles it. I revisited that scripture to show you that God will honor his word at all costs. Amen. Abraham and Sarah, they got the word. God came through for them. It had a blunder along the way, but God came through. On Abraham and Sarah's part, there was a blunder, but God still came through. You may have made a blunder. God is still able to come through for you, but you have to seek God's mercy. Amen. Sometimes we want God to do 
lots of things for us, but what are we willing to do and, uh, in honor of the mighty God? God wants us to serve. When we look at 1 Kings 8, 56, we see that, blessed be the Lord who has given rest to his people. That's just the first part. To those who will trust in God, to those who will rest upon his word and be assured by his word, these are the people that will find rest. These are the people that will find security. You're looking for security. You are looking for rest. You are looking for assurance. You are looking for peace. You are looking for stability. You are looking for so many things at this point in time. All of this is wrapped up in J-E-S-U-S. -S. The thing about it is you must honor him with the principle of this word. God is committed to his word. He is committed to every promise he has made. He is a covenant-keeping God. And that is why he could have come back and visited Sarah and Abraham and they had the victory. Amen. What has God promised you and you are losing hope? I am here to tell you, don't lose hope. If God said it, that settles it. Run with the word of God. Whoever will speak negatively into your air, you need to know that you have to allow that thing to run out. Do not keep negative word in your air that will not take you where you need to go. You need to drop it because God is saying, I am here for you. He's saying, come up higher. He's saying, come, let me help you. Even with the journey of life, I am able to carry you to the last mile of the way. God wants to help you and he doesn't want you to be in a place of sadness. He doesn't want your health deteriorating. He doesn't want you to have no finances to do the things that you need to do. But you must come up to that place to trust him. You must be assured that if God said it, it is it. That is it. It is settled. When God speak in the atmosphere, listen, take his word as final authority. God's word is final authority in your life. You will be able to see the mountains that stand before you move in the name of Jesus. But sometimes what happen is we are waiting to see if somebody else's mountain will move when they pray. Listen, Keep your eye focused on God. When you are focused on God and you are praying in the Holy Ghost, I guarantee you change will come. What are you praying about today? Your change is in Jesus. Your empowerment is in Jesus. Your source is Jesus. Your help is in Jesus. Your anointing is in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So you must know that this word cannot lie and this word will not fail you. Men may fail you. People may fail you. Things may fail you. But Jesus never fail. Hallelujah. The promises that he have given to us, uh, it is dear for us. If we will believe, uh, if we will accept, uh, and if we will walk by faith uh, and know that it is ours, uh, it is going to come to pass. Uh, it may be a challenge, uh, but I am here to tell you, uh, take the challenge this evening. Uh, take up the challenge to run with the word. Uh, take up the challenge to walk in the anointing. Uh, take up the challenge to remain faithful to God. Uh, come what may, run the race to the finish uh, as a soldier that is empowered in the things of the mighty God. Faith your way through. Run in the name of Jesus. Whatever have held you back, drop it now. The heavy weights, it's a time to run. When God is moving, move with God. As I say, move with the speed of the Holy Ghost. When Holy Ghost is moving, move with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You just got to be on the timing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. With the timing of the Holy Ghost, you cannot lose the battle. You have no, upper, no other but to win the war. Oh, hallelujah. God is saying to you today to set yourself to eat the good of the land. You can choose to cry yourself to sleep. You can choose to, you know, just be there and not move out of your state of whatever it is. But it will not enable you when you make a decision to walk, to get up to dust yourself and go again. It is the best decision. Sometimes you will have to make an effort. Sometimes the miracle may not meet you like it meets some people, the man at the pool. And you have to do like the woman with the issue of blood. And you have to crawl or you have to walk to go to get the miracle. But listen, it's time that by faith you move forward to get your miracle. That woman was willing to go. The man at the pool had to stay there when they put him there. But Jesus came to the man at the pool. The woman with 
the issue she walked to Jesus hallelujah in her weakened state you may say I have a situation and it's very bad I am here to tell you God is still God and he always will be God he is still a healer he is still a deliverer he's still a friend if you allow him that stick it closer than a brother he is still the wheel in the middle of the wheel he is still the strength in the midst of your weakness he is still our joy he is still our peace whatever you are looking for it is all in Jesus Christ it is all in the God of our salvation so my friends to you this evening in your time of prayer and fasting ensure you take God at his will he is faithful he is the faithful God. Faithful God in every circumstance. Whether you're in bereavement, whether you're in a hospital bed, whether you are at your workplace, or you are in your home in the kitchen, or you are just doing janitorial services, or you are just helping someone, you are in the marketplace. God is true to his word and always watching over his word to perform it. He said, I am your present help. Continue to trust God. Do not waver. For a double-minded man or woman is unstable in all of your ways. Child of God, when God gives you, when God gives you the victory, do not take one victory and settle for that. Keep running with God so that your life will be testimonies after testimony of the goodness of our Father. Faith is an ingredient that is a must. Hallelujah. Faith is an ingredient that is a must. In life, sometimes we want to use substitution. Nothing can be substituted for faith. And nothing can be substituted for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. In this natural life, we substitute many things. The void that you have for God cannot be substituted by any other thing. Whether it's, you know, fauna, whether it's a possession, there will still be a void. It must be the Lord himself. Uh, and faith cannot be substituted for anything else. Uh, you have to know that you must be anchored in faith. The God of our salvation expects us to run with him. When the wise, when the men of old, they, the prophets and they, they connected with God, men of faith. When you look at the Bible, these men anchor themselves properly in the word of Jehovah God. Moses, he anchored himself in the word of God. And he was able, through instructions, God gave him instructions to use his rod. He was able to use his rod. God gave him instructions what to say to the Pharaoh. He was able to see it, say it and see what God had done in the midst. When God gives instruction, even to Jeremiah, friends, this evening, God will give you instructions as if you are able to take them. Are you taking the instructions of our Father? Or are you taking the instructions of your friend and those who are in your space who are telling you what you want to hear? Mm -hmm. The Word of God will give you what you need to hear to bring you on par or on that level that will give you victories. Do not be a defeated Christian this evening, but be a Christian that is on fire. Be a believer that is on fire for the mighty God. Be a believer that will love God and hate evil. Be a believer that in every season you will shine. You will be shining because your God is able. Yes, you will have circumstances and issues and troubles, but shine through your troubles. People must not know what your troubles are. When you are finished and your testimony comes, they will be amazed to know that you were able to go through all of that and not, you know, had a sour face or you were not in a place where you were bowed down and people had to say, you know, cheer up or, you know, you could fix yourself better than that. Be in that place where you're always able to shine for the mighty God. Because the times that we are living in, it demands that discipline because every day you are hearing of something. Every day you are hearing of something negative. You are seeing things that are happening that are very sad all around us. We have to learn to pray and trust God. We have to learn to be able to flow with Him. We cannot ignore God and expect to get the blessings of Jehovah God. Uh, you know, we say, okay, I believe in the word of God. I believe God's word is true. I love God. But our action is saying differently. It shows that we ignore God. The fact that you have no time to pray, and listen what I'm saying. This is what people say. I have no time. You do this, you do this, you do this. 
God has given you that time. So the fact that you are saying you have no time, it means you didn't prioritize God. Because you are living in time, so it's not that you don't have no time. You didn't make time for God, eh? and you want God to bless you, well then, my goodness, you're going to have some trouble receiving that blessing. Amen. Because God wants his children to honor him in spirit and in truth. You gotta make time for God. You gotta be there in prayer and in supplication. Sometimes prayer is hard work because you gotta go before God interceding for those things that have come up against you in the dark world, spiritual wickedness in high places. And it can be laborious. But you know what? God has given us the armor and he has given us empowerment through the Holy Ghost. So we have spirit and we have armor to do that which we are commanded to do. God is saying, arise and use his will to fight the good fight of faith. Yes. Apply your life so that you will be a success story. Your life, God wants it to be a success story. The time is short. He said the days will be shortened for the elect seek. We are the chosen one, the elected ones. God have chosen to give us an opportunity to carry his son, to carry his Shekinah glory, to be a mouthpiece for him on the earth. What have your mouth been speaking? Has it been speaking guile or have you been speaking the praises of Jehovah God? Has it been speaking gossip and confusion or have it been speaking the things that God will have it to speak? Your life, what has it been representing? The kingdom of darkness or the kingdom of light? God cannot be mocked. God cannot be fooled. Uh. So even as we do our prayer and fast, uh, as you have come to know, every Thursday, since the ministry's inception, we have been doing prayer and fast on a Thursday. And December this year will be 14 years that Lighthouse is in ministry. And we are giving God times that we have kept, you know, the fast. Even if it's a holiday, even in the time of, you know, uh, but, uh, in the time and season where the church will close off on the Thursday night, uh, we still maintain the fast. Some people would have got glad and eaten whatever it is, but uh, a few of us or many of us maintain the fast because why? It has kept us and empowered us. Uh, the sacrifices we make for God, it doesn't go unnoticed. You want God's attention? Do things uh, that will grasp His attention. Uh, do things that you're not accustomed to doing uh, and God will bless you. So, saints of God, this evening, this is the thought that God gave me from his word, uh, to let the people know that he's God that is faithful, uh, and he will visit his people, even if whatever he has spoken into your ear, whatever prophetic word he has said, uh, whatever promise in this book to the believer, or to his sons and daughters, uh, God will bring it to pass. Uh, as you align yourself within this word, uh, God works within this word. Uh, this is his word. Uh, and those that come into his kingdom, uh, use his word for guidance uh, and even to be able to flow, uh, to execute against the kingdom of darkness. Uh, this word is alive, alive, uh, rich and full of power. This word is empowerment. Uh, this word transform. Uh, this word is a blessing every day of our life. Uh, this word keeps us out uh, of the snare of the enemy. This word keeps us uh, where we are in our right mind. Uh, as even, uh, you know, you would meditate upon it day and night as the psalmist there said. Uh, and even in Joshua, that this book of the law will not uh, depart out of our mouth. Uh, that we will constantly remember the scriptures. Uh, we will constantly quote the scriptures. Uh, it will never be a stranger to us. Uh, but we will continue in oneness with our Father. Child of God, this evening, uh, God will keep you but be willing to be processed. Be willing to apply the word. Be humble even in your dealings. For the times and season you have entered, it is crucial and we need to be working on par one with another. So this evening, as we will bow our heads in the presence of Jehovah God, I trust God this evening that you were blessed by the word. We just wanna pray a little bit, hallelujah. Father, we just give you thanks, we give you praise. We give you honor and glory. You know, it's a time also where we ought to pray that the revelation of mighty God will be real because on the earth, some things are happening. And uh, if we don't have that relationship with God uh, to have revelation, uh, to see what 
God wants us to see and our eyes dim or dull, uh, we will miss the mark and we will miss timing with Almighty God uh, or prophetic release that will come for the church or for others. In this season, we want to remember the time that we spent with God is invaluable, it's precious, and is worth it at all costs. The time that you spent with God, very important. Father, we just bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory, our Father. And we say thank you, Lord, for all you have done and what you are doing. We bless your majestic name. And Father, we say, God, have your way on this Thursday evening. We thank you for your sons and daughters that are on the live stream. Those that started with us and those that filter in as we went along the year and a half uh, that have come and gone thus far. And Father, we are saying thank you for each member, every co-member, and those that visit with us on the live stream. Uh, we are saying thank you for their life. Uh, today, in this Thursday evening, time of praying and fasting, uh, I'm declaring, mighty God, uh, that healing will take place for those that are ill in body, those that are broken in spirit. Uh, I'm declaring, mighty God, divine intervention and rescue, uh, that the anointing will break yokes and do heavy burden, undo heavy burdens. Uh, I declare, holy fire will rest upon them. Uh, those that have been struggling with illness and ailments, uh, over their body, internal, female problems, uh, Father God, even uh, hormonal problems, uh, imbalance. Uh, I'm declaring healing right now in the name of Jesus. Uh, I declare the healing power of the mighty God uh, will search through even those bodies uh, that have been impaired in the name of Jesus. Uh, I declare rescue for your sons and for your daughters, mighty God, uh, that whatever is taking place that is not of there, that there shall be a shifting uh, and there shall be a cancellation of those things that have kept them farther, even down. Mighty God, I decree in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, healing, healing flow, your healing flow for those that are asking for prayer because they may be struck with COVID-19 uh, and some uh, illness. Uh, others are going through, you know, tests and even different surgeries. Uh, Father God, we are asking your divine intervention uh, for those that have been uh, even in the battle front, uh, and even where the enemy have come in to attack and those where sickness have attacked them, I'm declaring God, your healing power and virtue. Father, in areas where surgery is even being told of, and Lord, we know that through faith that some can have a shift in, we are saying, God, we stand by faith for where it can be shifted. We stand in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth and declare your presence is as heaven. We declare an outpouring of the anointing uh, to refresh those that they will be able to soar again, uh, to revive their mighty God from that place. Uh, I declare fresh oil and outpouring, uh, and outpouring, uh, and outpouring uh, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, Father, I declare, God, uh, that your will be done and your name be exalted. Uh, I thank you for every victory, and I declare it so as your servant. Uh, for those that are looking in and may not have salvation, uh, Father, I declare that they will know that this Jesus I speak about tonight, uh, you are real, uh, and you are true to your word. Uh, as said, you keep all of your promises, uh, and Father, I declare even this time that they will, Lord, look unto you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And if you are on the broadcast and you're saying that, you know, I want to accept this Jesus because I'm hearing that in my spirit, you just say after me, Father, I come to you today in the name of your son Jesus. I see in a backslider. Even where I've fallen from grace. Lord Jesus, I ask your mercy that you will deliver me. You will wash me in your precious life blood and make me whiter than the snow. Father, I ask that you will restore me and you will cause me, mighty God, to soar again, even as I once did in your presence. Mighty God, that I will abandon every former thing where the enemy had a hold on me, I declare it is now broken and I'm set free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Lord, change my heart and make me a vessel of honor in Jesus' mighty name. Amen.
and amen. Father, we just thank you and we bless you. We bless you. We bless you. Lord, we lift the children of the nation before you, Trinidad and Tobago, even as they are about to go out to school on Monday. I'm declaring God wisdom upon even the children, the teachers, as they will do their teaching in a new normal environment. And Father, we are declaring that there will be no upsurge of this virus within our school system and our children being affected or even the educators. Father, let only your counsel stand in this time. No matter what decision is taken, Father, we are saying, let only your counsel stand in this time for this nation. And we are saying, God, thank you for all you have done and what you are doing. We speak your peace and we speak, Father God, your joy. We speak your love and we speak, mighty God, the unity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We bless you this evening, mighty God. And we just say thank you. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Saints of God, we thank God, you know, even uh, as we have come to an end of the ninth month in 2021. Again, we are grateful many did not make it, but we are here. You may have some troubles or some struggles, but you are here. Many didn't make it. We are entering the 10th month in four hours. October begins. And... Uh, you know, you may say, you have nothing to look forward to. But I want to tell you, you have much to look forward to as you trust God. You see, us in our finite mind cannot see what God has afar or for us. But with our faith, we can tap into it. So, whatever you have faced during the past nine months, I want you to have a bright outlook for the month that is coming in four hours. That the God of our salvation, He will keep. He is more than able. He will prosper. He will bless. And He will continue to minister grace and peace unto His people. So, we are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid us. We thank God for all of you. And on Sunday, our praying and fasting continues for the month of October, our three days, and we are giving God thanks because uh, even as we go in, uh, you know, you would know how to do the fast by now, and uh, we are looking forward to a blessed time on the live stream. As I said, we haven't opened up as yet. We will do the 25% from the third week, the third Sunday in uh, October. The first two Sundays after service, I'm doing empowerment service our team members, workers, as God will have it to be. And then we receive you as God will have us to receive you as you are coming in. We are thankful for this time of the opening up and we are blessing God. When you are coming in, please, it is the house of the Lord, so the protocol should be observed also. We do not want to slacken our riding or what we ought to do. We wear our mask, we wash our hands before entering the sanctuary, and we keep to ourselves without interaction. We know that it is said in our nation, there is community spread with a variant, but we are opening even as God enables us. So the registration for those that are coming in will be from the third Sunday. So from the second week, you can begin to register with our administrator. So we thank God. We are looking forward to seeing you, to receiving you in the love of God. No hugs, no kisses, no touching. We salute in Jesus' name. Amen. We salute. We salute the saints. Hallelujah. Paul always salute. We salute you in Jesus' name. No contact. Amen. Hallelujah. We bless God and we thank God for all of you. May you have an enjoyable evening, a beautiful weekend, and I see you on Sunday morning as we begin the fast in Jesus' mighty name. Have a blessed one. Remember to prepare your communion because it is communion Sunday. And remember 
to dress yourself and set yourself, uh, you know, to be a part of the live stream service. Uh, watching it after is good because I would after, but I always like if you are part of the church uh, or part of the fellowship, uh, uh, visiting uh, or covenant partner to be a part, uh, you know, of the live service and give your contribution via even uh, the comments. Uh, so we thank God for you and all of you that continue to be a part. God bless you. I love you with the love of the Lord and see you on Sunday morning. Amen. Blessings, love, peace, joy. Jesus mighty. Great I Lord. Great I Thank you.